As you listen to this episode, your body is hard at work, performing a number of tasks we take for granted with each passing second. Your heart beats, your lungs rise and fall, your eyes capture your surroundings, all possible because of the human central processing unit, the brain, the most complex organ in the human body. Since the dawn of time, mankind has maintained a fascination for understanding the inner workings of the human body. Mapping the brain for exploration, ancient civilizations, scientists, and neuro-innovators set out to comprehend the vast capabilities of this mere three-pound component of the nervous system. It was believed that the heart, not the brain, was the central organ of the body. Egyptians were so convinced of this that they discarded the brain during mummification. It was not until 450 BC that Greek physician Alcmaeon concluded that the brain, not the heart, was the central organ responsible for sensation and thought. An early neuro-investigator, Alcmaeon dissected animals for anatomical accuracy, discovering that optic nerves were the pathways to the brain and eyes. Over time and continents, the brain continued to draw physicians, biologists, and scientists of all types to the study of the inner workings of this essential organ. For example, in 300 BC, Alexandrian biologists Herophilus and Erasistratus discovered that intelligence lies within the brain as well. In 170 BC, Galen, the physician to Roman gladiators, concludes that mental faculties of emotion, memory, cognition, and the senses are all controlled within the brain. In 1543, a Renaissance anatomist named Andreas Vesalius published the first known neuroscience textbook entitled On the Workings of the Human Body. This is the first publication to illustrate the workings of the nerves and the brain. Building upon Vesalius's publication, in 1664, Oxford professor Thomas Willis wrote a monograph detailing the anatomy and physiology of the brain, entitled Cerebri Anatomy. Historically, this publication set into motion the knowledge neuroscientists would build upon in the centuries that followed. Willis focused on the functional attributes of individual brain parts, primarily the cerebral hemispheres and specific mental functions. Willis determined that the cerebral hemispheres differ in what they control, such as thoughts, actions, and motor skills. As the central component of the nervous system, the brain is composed of several parts, performing varied and discrete functions. The cerebrum contains the left and right hemisphere of the brain. The left hemisphere is responsible for thinking, memory, reasoning, and voluntary muscle movement on the right side of the body. Thoughts and speech originate from this hemisphere of the brain. Those who are left brain thinkers are often characterized as logical, analytical, and mathematical. Alternatively, the right hemisphere controls imagination, creativity, and abstract thought. Those who are right brain thinkers are often characterized as artistic, musically inclined, or as having a sixth sense intuition. Each hemisphere of the brain controls the opposite side of the body. The left side controls the right side voluntary movements and vice versa. The brain's cerebellum controls motor functions such as balance, movement and coordination. Without the cerebellum to guide your movements, you would not be able to walk, dance or swim. The brain stem. This section connects the brain to the spinal cord. Acting like a natural message filter, the brainstem sorts out millions of messages that travel back and forth in the body. The brainstem regulates involuntary movements like breathing, digestion, and blood circulation. The hypothalamus controls physiologic functions such as body temperature, hunger, thirst, and reproductive behavior. For instance, on a hot, humid day, your body will sweat. Sweating regulates your body's temperature to maintain 98.6 degrees. The pituitary gland is small, about the size of a pea. It has direct connections to both the brain via the hypothalamus and the very important system of endocrine glands. It is responsible for essential functions like hormone production, metabolism, and growth. This small gland plays a vital role in body development 
Biological milestones like puberty and menopause are a direct result of the hormones produced in the pituitary gland under the direction of the hypothalamus. The human brain consumes 20% of the energy in the body, yet takes up only 2% of the total body mass. This impressive amount of energy is utilized to maintain brain cells and fuel nerve impulses that fire up the 100 billion neurons in the brain, 23 watts of power. The brain stores, organizes, retrieves, and interprets information from the environment monitor our senses, regulate body functions, and help protect us from harm. How we view the world is created here. How you feel about a certain experience today may be quite different at another time in your life, depending on the signals your brain receives and perceives. Sensory information is sent to diverse areas of the brain and can trigger intense emotions. Circuits in the brain store memories and give meaning to what we see and hear. For example, your brain will store this memory on a circuit, which you can then access at a later time. The central processing of the brain never shuts down completely, even while sleeping. With a speed of at least 260 miles per hour, information travels between neurons in our brain to the spinal cord. The spinal cord then acts like a conduit for nearly all impulses to and from body parts to the brain. Essentially, the perception of the outside world is reliant upon our response to sensory information. Neurons fire faster when intensity increases. The more intense, the more likely it is your brain will respond to the stimulus. For example, if you are home alone watching a scary movie, your heart rate might increase, your sense of fear will heighten. Your perception of your environment is dependent upon your response to the fear stimulus. Your brain is hard at work to decipher the information presented before its eyes. Is the fear real? Neuroscience deals with the anatomy, physiology, chemistry, and biology of the nervous system and brain. Today, neuroscience research involves many fields of study, from molecular biology to genetics to psychology. Neurogenetics, or the study of the role of genetics in the function and development of the nervous system, has revolutionized the face of assessments for genetic degenerative disorders, epilepsies, and movement disorders. In 2001, the Human Genome Project sequenced and mapped our genetic makeup. Because of this, intrusive procedures and assessments have been replaced by a simple and effective blood test to determine molecular sequencing in the human body. As part of the White House Brain Initiative, scientists have better understanding of the complexities of the brain through the process of brain mapping, where specific brain cells illustrate genetic activity consistent with certain diseases or behaviors. These advancements in detection highlight early recognition of disease and future solutions, opening a wider window for treatment. Advancements in psychology have also occurred at a rapid pace in the last decade. Cognitive Behavior Therapy, or CBT, is a talk therapy that originated in the 1960s and 70s to treat phobias and anxiety disorders. CBT has re-emerged with a strong strategy to combat a wide range of disorders and mental illness. While medication is often necessary, CBT teaches patients how to change their lifestyle and regulate their emotions. As mentioned earlier, the neurons in the brain play a pivotal role in the regulation of emotions. CBT aims to focus on this regulation through dialectal behavior therapy. Neuroscience careers are developing at a rapid pace. Understanding the brain does not just take place in a medical facility or a research lab. While medical careers for neurologists and neurosurgeons focus on physical conditions associated with the brain and nervous system, biomedical engineers apply the principles of engineering to medicine. They are also responsible for creating technology essential to those living with and suffering from neurological conditions. For example, when the message from the brain no longer creates the necessary energy to regulate the heart rate, a patient can suffer a stroke, heart attack, or even death. 
biomedical engineer Wilson Greatbatch created the pacemaker, an artificial device that is implanted in the body and hooked up to the heart to stimulate the muscle to regulate its contractions. These professions will be in strong demand as the future of brain research revolutionizes science and medicine for debilitating diseases such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and ALS. As a molecular scientist, you would carefully examine how the biological process of neurons supports cells of the nervous system. Studying the processes of neurons in the brains of individuals with neurological disease can reveal essential information for understanding how, why, and when deterioration begins. Moreover, as the diagnosis of mental disorders such as depression, anxiety, and schizophrenia increase, a strong need is developed for neuroscience professionals like psychiatrists and psychologists. A career in psychology focuses on how the mind works and how memory functions to create our individual self. Colleges are providing valuable opportunities to obtain degrees essential in industries like medical institutions, pharmaceutical companies, and educational environments such as colleges. The brain remains the most mysterious and fascinating organ in the body.